Okay, so editor suggest selection. The setting controls how suggestions are pre-selected when showing the suggest list. And you have three options here. The first one, actually, let me show you with the mouse so you can see the description. The first one, um, always select the first suggestion. Recently used, uh, select recent suggestions unless further typing selects one. So for example, if you write console dot, uh, the first suggestion will be console log because log has been <coughs> recently completed, even though log wouldn't be the first um, the first function that would normally show up uh, because the suggestion box is alphabetized and uh, recently used by prefix. So select suggestions based on previous prefixes that have completed those suggestions. For example, if you write CEO and you um, and that's selected a console and uh, you write CON and you select it, selected a constant, that's what, what is going to happen in the future, right? If you write CO, console will be first, but if you write an N, then it will switch and const will be first. Now, the problem with the second and third options is that they are not consistent. They depend on your history, on, on the history of the suggestions that you have selected in the past. And and th these types of inconsistencies just make for um, more cognitive load because you have to you have to look at the suggestion and see if it's the one you want, uh, and it just takes more time, right? The, my preferred method is the first, so you can always choose um, a suggestion uh, the same way. It's not it. It doesn't change uh, with the history of the suggestion you selected. And even though you might uh, end up having to write a little bit more code, it gets to, if it's always the same, it gets to a point where um, y you just have muscle memory for what to write when you need to write a, a console log, for example. So I'm going to go with first so that the behavior is consistent, which makes for um, higher developer performance.